Welcome to Georgetown, guys. This UNESCO city is known for being one of the most beautiful and charming places in all of Malaysia. And of course, it's famous for its rich culture and colonial architecture, but it also has an amazing trendy side with super cool street art, awesome cocktail bars, and some of Malaysia's best foods. <music> There is no better place to start understanding the vibe of Georgetown than in Armenian Street. And this is our first time in the UNESCO Center, so we're basically going to discover it together. Everything is like brand new to us and it's really awesome here. Smart, you don't know whose cat that is or whose food that is. <laughs> He's just giving a random cat food. It's here for it. He came crying to be fed. It's because he's tricked tours before. You're so smart. Yeah. We're moving here. obviously a thing and we're obsessed. We love cats. So Armenian Street and the area around it are inside Georgetown's protected UNESCO heritage area. And it's one of the best places in the city to start seeing the iconic street art here it in is, Georgetown. Yeah, it is awesome because they make it interactive in a way so that you're like encouraged to like take photos. Yeah, but I think there can also be lines to take pictures because it is interactive. Probably. So we got here at 830 and there's basically no one here. It's very quiet. There's just some like old guys gossiping with their cigarette and their coffee. Yeah. There's also some like shrines like yeah. happening with smoke. It's very it's cool, cool to see. To be here early when it's like less hot too because yeah. the sun is already out. It's like 10 a.m. now and it's already super hot. But now we're heading to a morning market because we haven't eaten and you can't be without food here because... It's not in Malaysia. Yeah, I mean... It makes no sense. Food here is too good. Let's go to the market. I'm very confused. Yeah, it's by that. Yeah, I don't know about that. So you'll look the same as you did after six weeks than you did when you started the treatment. So it doesn't get any better. It's two weeks better total to do the math. Eight weeks minus six. We found a spot in the morning market. This place is pretty hectic. There's a ton of different cells, but it's all in like Chinese characters or it's translated, but we still cannot really understand what's going on. I think I just ordered fried noodles with a type of sausage. I love that this is breakfast. And the only thing that he asked me was like spicy, not spicy. I'll take a spicy breakfast. This looks good. I'm gonna dig into my noodles. Hmm. This is spicy, very flavorful. I can't get enough of the food here in Malaysia. Everything is just so, so tasty. I love where we are too. They're just like banging and people yelling and- So loud. <laughs> what I think is some type of Chinese dialect. It is so loud, this is cool. We also ordered something called white coffee, which is very popular in this area of Malaysia. I think it's just coffee mixed with margarine and some other ingredients. It's pretty good. It tastes like a vanilla roast, a little bit sweet and nutty. Oh. Very refreshing with the ice. <laughs> also getting a lot of calories this morning with the margarine and the fried noodles. Whatever. It's Malaysia. Yum. Yum. I love this market. It felt like a very local experience. It was just so cool just being surrounded by all these exotic and foreign languages. 
We definitely recommend it. There's a few morning markets in Georgetown, but this one's like a 10 minute walk from Armenian Street. They're open from, I think, 8.30 to 12.30. And if you put in morning market into Google Maps, you can find it. Just as a general observation, Georgetown is a lot bigger than we picture it to be, even though the UNESCO part of it is very compact and walkable. There's skyscrapers everywhere and like big apartment complexes. I don't know why we didn't like picture it that way because this is Malaysia's second largest city. But I don't know, just like a general observation. There's also a lot, a lot of cool cafes, beautiful where you can take a break from the heat and have delicious coffee. And now we're just walking around, keep exploring. Let's see what else we find. The city is pretty awesome. So it might be surprising to hear a city with the name Georgetown in this part of the world, but Georgetown was the capital of the Straits Settlements, which were a group of territories under the British crown that also included Singapore and Malacca and southern Malaysia. And Georgetown became one of the most important trading hubs in all of Southeast Asia, which brought a ton of Chinese immigrants that came here to make some money and to make a living. And actually right now, Georgetown is still the most ethnically Chinese city in all of Malaysia. And that's really the vibe that we get here. So there's not like a ton of colonial British stuff still lingering, at least from what we've seen so far. But there is a ton of Chinese vibes with like cool shop houses, Chinese mansions that belong to these wealthy clans and also a ton of Chinese temples. And we just stumbled upon one Chinese temple and we're gonna go in and check it out. beautiful and serene it's cool because a lot of the imagery inside is kind of unfamiliar to us with like the dragons and different buddhist deities very interesting we also just heard the call to prayer so it's cool malaysia is just a total melting pot now it's time to take a very permanent solution to this mop on my head and get a haircut I feel very jealous right now. I wish I was being pampered. How do I look? Hot. Prince Charming here. Look at that face. Oh, ooh. <laughs> that is by far, without a doubt, the most meticulous haircut I have had uh -huh. in my entire life. I was in there for an hour and a half. It's Thank like, I feel, I feel, yeah, that's okay. I feel like <laughs> if that was my job, I would be like him because I'm like a perfectionist too. But to be fair, I have given him haircuts and the results are not. Mm. This. They were subpar, yeah. <laughs> definitely not like this. That was amazing. If you ever come to Georgetown, go to Son and Father Barbershop. Son and Dad. Son and Dad Barbershop. Barbershop. It was worth the wait, definitely. Yeah. I have to come back to Georgetown in four months to get my hair cut again. We of course could not leave this part of Georgetown out of the video. Like, yeah, it's like cultural and historic, but there's also a lot of cool bars. And this one was recommended by a guy named Daniel from Malaysia that we met in KL. And he sent us like a list of amazing places to check out here in Georgetown. And I mean, this place is so, so gorgeous. The drinks are amazing. And we just saw the guy pick up curry leaves from the garden to put in Gordon's cocktail, which is crazy. We really wanted to treat ourselves because I don't think we're gonna see a place like this in the next two and a half months. I don't know if that's a clue to where we're going next, but whatever <laughs> you think about that one. But no worries, the video is not over yet. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Clan Jetty's Little India and 
an awesome night market here in Georgetown and we'll show you that in like two seconds in the video. And no worries, if you don't know what clan jetties are, we don't know either. We're gonna learn tomorrow morning and we'll let you know. See you in the morning. Cheers. Good morning guys, welcome to the clan jetties. Right now we are on Chu Jetty. This is the most famous and also touristy of all the clan jetties here in Georgetown. And it's a very cool area. It's part of Georgetown's UNESCO heritage area. And it's a place where people are still living in a traditional way on top of stilt communities. And how these stilt communities kind of came about, and this is where like the word clan comes into play, is that Chinese immigrants that came here to work in trade and shipping, they wanted to have like a place of like welfare and community. So people with the same last name or people that came from the same region in China, they developed the little communities on their individual jetties. And that's how we got the clan jetties here in Georgetown. We do have to say though, that we got here on low tide and it is a little bit stinky and because it's low tide, you can see like all the stuff. So I don't know if it's the most like scenic way to experience it um, early in the morning, but it is the less crowded way. Just pick whatever works best for you, I guess. We just wanted to give you guys a heads up because as you can see behind me, like you can see all that stuff there and it is a little bit sticky. So realistically, you would probably only need like 30 to 45 minutes to check out one or two of the jetties. But it's still a very interesting to see, especially if you let your mind go yeah, back exactly. in time. This was the like like built like over 100 years ago and they still live here. So if you like picture how it all started, it's a really, really cool experience. But now we're off. Little India. Little India. <laughs> And just like that, you walk a block and it's like you're in a whole different country. This is why you come to Malaysia for like the diversity. I don't know if you can hear like the music in the background, like all the shops like selling saris, all the smells with the oils and the flowers. I think this is like what makes this country so, so special is how diverse it is. It's awesome. I saw this salon and I decided to shave my eyebrows. How do they look? Beautiful. They were, from they were so nice. Yeah, it's just that they're experts in doing threading. So I saw her and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I am here, here. Uh, yeah, one more I am. <laughs> Different plate, yeah. Thank you, sir. That's good. Yeah, good. This looks beautiful and delicious. This is Georgetown's famous Nasi Kandar. I honestly don't really know what it is. The only thing that I know is that my barber yesterday said that this is not a breakfast Nasi, it's definitely lunch or dinner, and it looks very heavy. Very flavorful. I think this place too is kind of like an institution and you like walk in, there's a line and they're just like throwing stuff on the plate. It all happens very fast. I hope I got like a good order here. It looks awesome. Nasi Kandar. Let me see the dance. The food here is just so good. Oh my god. Mm. Just like a spicy, rich, 
It tastes like an Indian curry. I guess it's like a melee Indian fusion. Oh, it's so delicious. Haven't tried the chicken yet. I think it's lightly fried. We heard it's very delicious and tender. The famous ayam. <laughs> this place rocks. Definitely come here, wait in the line. I see most people eating with their hands again, so I might have to do it. Excellent. Really good. Thanks, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daniel. Great tip. That was amazing. And I feel like this video is turning into a food tour video, but the food in Malaysia is something that has to be highlighted. And we're gonna keep eating, but later. So we'll see you guys in the night market. Welcome to the Gurney Hawker Center. I think that's how it's called. This one is a little bit different than the market that we went to in KL. So if you haven't watched that video, in that video we went to a night market, but it was like, just like a long like street or parking lot with no place to sit. This one is smaller, but it's way more comfortable and there's like so many amazing foods everywhere. We ordered these noodles that we were in line for like 25 minutes thinking that they were vegetarian and they put prawns in it. They also gave me a fork and a spoon without even asking. But anyways, we are gonna eat this. This was just 10 ringgit, which is what, $2, two and a half dollars. Mm -hmm. The food here has been amazing and super cheap. Oh, I thought I saw a monkey, but it, it was not a monkey, sorry. So we're gonna keep eating, but how we're gonna keep eating is on our first live video. We're gonna show you more of the market. We have some important announcements. I think I can link that video here or here. I'm not really sure because you're gonna, the live video is gonna be before you see this video. Anyways, I'm babbling. Thank you for watching. This is it for the Georgetown video. If you have questions, let us know. Reminder, we're in the middle of our Malaysia travel series. So this is video six, I think. So make sure to check out the other videos as well. And yeah, if you have questions, let us know. We will see you guys in Borneo. Thanks for watching. Bye.